Attorneys for more than a thousand Maui fire survivors believe they know exactly where the first flames broke out. They showed our Chelsea Davis and explained who they think is partly to blame. On the far side of that field is a gully or a creek. And in that creek, it's not just dry grass, but there's literally dry trees, brush trees, all kinds of tinder. Lawyer and Lahaina native Jana Pohl takes me to this specific spot off Lahaina Luna Road where he says the massive wildfire started last August. He lost his family home in the inferno. He explained how he believes Hawaiian Electric Company re-energized the power lines that fell on dry brush in hurricane forced winds that ultimately killed more than 100 people, destroyed thousands of homes and turned an entire town to ash. Within a few minutes, the entire gully was now on fire. It's no longer a little grass fire of two, three feet. Now you got a fire that's 15, 20 feet high. And it's just like a Christmas tree going up. Attorney John Givens has lived on Moloka'i for 20 years. He specializes in fire cases. He says Kamehameha Schools owns the land where the dry trees were. If the trees hadn't have been there, it would have been a grass fire. They would have been able to put out a grass fire. Lahaina would have been saved. Cleaning out the gully and taking care of the vacant lands would have stopped this fire from getting any further than the bypass. But unfortunately, we all know what happened. In addition to Kamehameha Schools and the utilities companies, Hawaiian Electric, Hawaiian Telecom, and Spectrum Cable, Apo and his team also plan to sue the state and others. They're currently representing more than 1,000 clients and says it's growing every day. With a new federal ruling stating the cases will stay on Maui, they expect to have even more clients. Kamehameha Schools says their hope is to contribute to a more resilient Lahaina, where restored lands and waters feed, house, educate, and support the well-being of the community. The Attorney General said it hasn't been served and they reserve comment at this time. Hawaiian Electric and Spectrum said it didn't have a comment. Hawaiian Telecom didn't get back to me. Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.